Hey there, it's Mel from the 441. I've just finished work on the site and um, I'm meeting a friend at the Good Sammy's op shop in Bannister Road. This is the outlet um, store where all the stuff that doesn't get sold at the op shop gets one final chance here before it is um, used to you know, recycled rags to, um, for mechanics and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to go in. I want to get some dresses, some kids for the clothes. My friend is about to have a baby. So if I can get some really nice baby stuff, I will. Um, yeah, so I will um, give you guys a quick video inside and I will let you know afterwards what I got. All right, see you on the other side. guys just back um i actually didn't take any footage inside because it was pretty busy today i spent 66 dollars 50 and if you can see it this is what i got so i will head home and i will do another video while i sort it and i will show you guys what i got for who i actually didn't even get much myself i did get a beautiful green um orton bag that is kind of vintagey so um yeah i will see you guys at home hey guys so i was going to do this over on a dining table but the lighting is slightly better here these aussie houses are not the best for um lighting so this is what i have bought i'm going to go through and sort it and wash it um i got this jar for a dollar i really like these for making um salts and stuff and i think they're, they're from Kamer, um, Woolworths, but they cost a lot more than a dollar. So let's see what we got. I have a Max 10 to 11 year old shirt for boys. Yes, I will be washing these, but I'm just going to try and make them look some bit organized for the stack at the end. And um, this is a Sonic pair of leggings, which is a size seven. So they might fit Henry for a little bit and um, if not they can go straight to Oshin because I've got a six year old and an about to turn eight year old. Six year old um, t-shirt, Batman Christmas. Um, what else? This is a size five mango um, shirt. There was a lot of UK stuff I picked up that I'm going to give to my friend because yeah it's a size five but it's a nice shirt. I wasn't planning on getting anything that old for him. Um, we've got a size two Target little t-shirt. And sorry, I've got the washing machine on. Cute little gilet, um, which is also terge. Uh, another cute little jumper, size four, but it was too cute to leave there. It's got like that iron knit on it and a little side opening and at the end i will tell you how much i spent a pair of shorts um for 18 to 24 months with um dinosaurs on them and they were bonds um size one shorts actually maybe if i yeah do tops and bottoms and then little vesty thing zero to three months i'm honestly not sure how much um you should get out of some of the smaller stuff a little singlet for summer um i bought way too much stuff for this kid guys size three cotton on little shirt ideal for summer again um size three Jeans, Ollie's Place, which will be good for winter. Sorry, three to six months. 12 to 18 months, little t-shirt. I actually got this for the sister. It's Mango. I thought if um, they had any events, it would be cute. It's a size six. 
but um, Mango is a really good name in the UK. It does have a slight stain on it, but I'll see if I can put some lemon juice on it or something. Uh, more shorts. These are just Kmart, 6 to 12 months. Um, six months. I'm all. It's always fun with my mum. Little rainbowy tie. Um, vesty thing. I think this is for one of my kids. It is size eight Kmart. Um, swim shorts. So that can go in the Henry pile. Another little shirt, six to twelve months. Um. So we'll go here. Then we have size one little joggers for him. I think this is for Henry. These are Target size eight black jeans with the stringy waistband. Jean joggers, whatever you want to call them. Um, size six jumper for Oshin, which I was kind of going to leave there, but it was so soft. And believe it or not, I think this one is, yeah, this is Kmart. So I got a lot, guys. I got a lot. Um, another shirt for baby boy, size 3. Um, size 10 shorts, but I've decided that I'm going to start going up a couple of sizes. Because the op shops don't have much for boys. Um, these are called Baby Shelter and they're a tree four. They've got little rocking horses on them. Uh, red little shorts for swimming, size one, Kmart. Right, the shorts are this pile. Um, a little vest, Kmart, size one. The dad is a mechanic, so, or a fitter, so I think that's fitting. But jump, jump. Shh. This is for um, Oshin, just the front end loader from Kmart, but he likes machinery. Um, what else? Oh yeah, a Binden. It does feel like it's pretty light, but Binden is a big European brand. It's nice and light and it is, I think, a size one. Yeah, one year old. So if it's raining or if they do need to go back to Ireland or whatever, they've got options. A rag. Um, country road jeans size eight do you know what they're actually women's size eight i thought they would be for henry so i might have to re-donate these because i don't think i'm ever going to fit into a size eight i'm trying to think do i know anyone super skinny that i can give them to um i will put these up here maybe steph steph do you want a pair of size 8 pants if you're looking at this? Short size 7 for Ush. And that is just Kmart. I thought this was cute. This is H&M. Um, and it is 9 to 12 months. Lots of winter stuff. I was really surprised with how much winter stuff was there. This is a Marks jumper that Tom could wear. But if he doesn't want it. Um, I'll wear it. I will totally wear it. Even just at work. So yeah, that's, um, it's kind of like a bomber jacket style, but it's more a jumper. And Mark's is quite expensive, so I'm going to say that would have been over $100. Uh, another pair of black jeans for Henry, size 8, and I think these ones are cotton on. Uh, little... Baby girl, three to six months. That is um, Target Organic. I got a, it's Ant-Man, but it looks like Transformers. So I think Oshin will like it. He likes to play dress up. It is a size six to eight. It's got the boots and everything. So maybe he might want to wear that for Halloween. Mm, I have to put that on its own. Uh, swimming vest I think it's a size 7 so that can be for Ush I will wash all of these as well and I might do some walnut essence on them too um, a little top for the sister size 6 of the um, 
baby that's coming. I got a nice lemon handbag for myself. This is Beth's for her. It won't fit much, but it's actually got silver uh, detailing, which is nice. Um, and it's got a strap. So I got another bag as well, whatever that is. Uh, what else have we got? These are joggers. They're Zara and they're a size nine for the boys. Henry first and then Ush. So my kids are not really denim kids. I'm like, how? You've got me as your mom. This is a Gap size six baseball t-shirt. Ush. And cute little Ollie's Place 12 to 18 months. I think it's a tiger for the little tail. Um, dungarees. Then we have a pure baby, little bare grey shirt like that would go with this and like jeans and even that little um, vestie if they're all the right size. This was Guess. Now these are Guess jeans for boys. They're a power curvy mid um, and they are a bit bigger. I think they're, they're called a 24 regular. I actually don't know if these are girls or not, but because they were guess, I was like, let's take a chance because it's guess. Um, this is 12 to 18 months and it is um, Marks and Spencer's. We have all the sink as well. Don't think we're nearly finished here. Um, Spider-Man t-shirt for Ush, size seven. He loves Spider-Man. So as you can see, I got quite the haul. Has anybody guessed yet how much all this comes in at? Size four bonds for the sister. This pair is like brand new. There is hardly any stains that I can see visibly on it. Um, another Super cute little jacket. It is, I think this is Best and Less, that brand. But how cute is that? I think that's a size zero. So I hope I've got my sizing right. But at the same time, they're an Irish couple. So they could be going to Ireland. And some of that stuff will um, be used in Ireland, maybe. Little uh, mechanic pants. Size one. I've gotten all mixed up again, guys. That goes there, that goes there. More shorts, these are H&M. Um, uh, I think I got this for Ushin. Size six, Bonds, little hoodie. Uh, Bush Baby. Uh, Elsa Frozen 2 little dress from Marks and Spencers. I don't know if she's into Elsa, but what little girl isn't into Elsa and Anna? Um, T-shirt. This is a seed baby, 12 to 18 months. Um, this is a skirt I actually got for myself. It is slightly tighter on me. It's a review size 12. Um, it's a motivation skirt, but it's one of those ones that pops out quite nicely. Then you could wear it with like a jumper or um, a jumper or a like a vest kind of a top. Um, put my pile there. There's too much clothes. Oh my god! When we're on my stuff, sure. I also got this dress, which is absolutely stunning. It doesn't zip up fully so I'm hoping I can either let it out slightly or um, wear like a bodysuit under it but when I'm doing consultations like it's stunning and if you even want to go crazy you could like it's clashing but if they're both the right tones um, so yeah I couldn't leave that one there um, what else? I also got this blazer which is Susan it was a size small but it fits me and I like that it's got silver buttons because I am a winter so um, that will work out well you know with jeans and a white t-shirt 
All right, back to the baby. Size zero, cute, um, knitted kind of pants. Uh, then we've got a doggy t-shirt because they like dogs. Oh no, it's actually a little romper. That's favorites. I'm not sure what brand favorites are. Um, if it's like, you know, a best and less or something. Um, a check shirt for Henry, size eight, which might be nice for camping if we do go camping. Um, then I have this cute little dress. Again, not sure where they'd wear it for the little girl, but it is stunning. It's um, as seen on screen, ASOS. So that's there. Um, oh, I got this really, really cute little set. The, this couple are getting married next year. I don't know, I don't think that will fit him. But you know, if they want to get him christened or something, um, I also got that little set. A uh, little baseball jacket for him too. Little Harry Potter. I'm actually not sure if they are into Harry Potter. Little shorts. Um, another t-shirt for him. That one is Favourites again. So I don't know which brand Favourites is. It could be Big W. I kind of went crazy on this child. Um, this is Fox and Finch, so a boutique brand, I'm guessing, a pair of shorts. Um, size 8, something for Henry, just a pair of like black shorts for next summer. Oh, okay, we need to make a second pile for Henry. <laughs> um, little singlet for Oshin because he likes robots and stuff. Uh, what else is here? This is a little next jacket that is 9 to 12 months, which might be summertime for the baby, but we don't know how big her house and what he's going to be. So there's that. Another little vest. This is Pickle. Uh, this is actually a shirt I got myself. It's still inside out. Um, this is Ally. But I thought it would go nice with, if it's in here, this is an Orton bag that looks kind of vintagey. It's really soft, subtle leather. Um, so really happy with that one. It's got the strap. Uh, Oh, the strap is broken on it. No wonder it was hidden, but maybe, surely I could get that repaired, right? I'm going to see if I can get that repaired. Um, yeah, like, unreal, because that would probably be, I don't know, like 150 bucks. So there, that's pretty much, oh, what else is, we're nearly there, people, we're nearly there. Um, these are a size 12, but they're rip curl, so I got them for the boys because it's a good brand. Um, this is a size 6, and it's jewels. So if Oshin won't wear it, I'm going to put it in the pile for the baby boy. Because jewels is, again, a really good English brand. I managed to get a cute little um, sleep bag that... I don't know what brand it is. It's uh, zero to six months. So if she even just wants it as a backup. Oh, we're nearly there. Uh, cute little baby shorts, six to 12 months. I feel like I got more pants than anything else for this kid. More cute little dungaree type things. 12 to 18 months. Um, Cotton on kids shirt size four. I think I got that at the start when I was like going, oh my God, there's nothing here for boys. And then clearly there was shit loads there for boys. I think this was also uh, the same as the red one from m &S. I don't know if Henry will wear this, but it is um, airplanes and he's obsessed with airplanes at the moment. So I just said I'd pick it up as like pajama shorts. But the kid likes to sleep just in his underpants like daddy. Um, 
so yeah nice little top for me for shorts for summer or um in winter another similar top um because that's like i've been here 12 this one's cotton on i've been here 12 years and I still struggle to look put together in summer. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe that kind of style top, now that um, my boobs are smaller, might um, be a good fit. And this, I meant to try this on. I don't know if it will suit me. It's sheen. I like the pattern. Maybe there's a way I could upcycle it or something. We'll see. Um, another sheen. If I had a wedding or something, this might work. I probably need to wear a slip under it because it is a little bit transparent and it's quite high at the front, but it's really nice and floaty at the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. I might try that one on for you guys. Um, and it can go with these heels that are Nine West. nearly there there's only a couple of items left ollie's place newborn little dungarees cute little jacket size one commando um little christmas t-shirt so that's him sort for christmas size one i don't even know what brand it is it's probably yeah charter uh the commando one was best or less and this was ollie's and lastly cute denim jacket one that was Target as well with a collar um so that is everything i got today let me so all right all this section here so like that 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 is all for baby boy this little pile here is for me this jumper here is for tom this is oshin's stash this is Henry's stash, and then there's a couple of dresses for um, big sister for baby brother. So yeah, and for the grand total, I spent, where's my receipt? Oh yeah, and the country road pants, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I don't, I don't really know anyone that's a size eight. The grand total was $66.50 like how can you go wrong the two handbags were a dollar each like one of them's orton i know i need to fix the strap but orton um the shoes were three dollars and they're nine west i love the um good sammy's headquarter outlet shop because you never you walk in there and you go maybe i need shorts maybe i need pants the last day i bought a lot of jeans so today I was like new jeans um, and I probably have enough shorts. So I was actually looking for more dresses that I can wear when I do consultations because this is normally what you see me in. Um, PPE gear. So yeah, so I'm going to wash all this stuff. I might give a, a light spritz with um, a flower essence to raise the vibes in them and cleanse the energy. And um I will catch up with my friend and later on in the week or early next week and see if she wants to have a coffee and I will gift those to her and here was me thinking I still need to get more for this kid I'll get her like a new outfit as well or a voucher or something because even though that's a lot of clothes it really didn't cost you know if you take the Mark's jacket I got for Tom out of it that was probably five dollars all my stuff was probably for, so if you say like maybe if you say that maybe 25 30 dollars for all of the stuff i got for my friend and then 30 to 35 dollars for all the stuff i got for my family this is why i love op shopping i love the circular economy um it saves the stuff going to landfill i won't buy clothes in kmart i won't buy sheen but I will buy it secondhand because 
you're stopping it from going to a landfill and you're extending the life of the clothes. So yeah, um, my top tips, go in with a plan. If you can invest in it, I would recommend you doing your colors and your styles, um, which everywhere has stylists, like there's a lady in Perth called the Style Counselor. I actually didn't go to her for my colors or my styles, but she loves op shopping. And I went to see her before I went to Ireland and I got some really good tips from her. But I went to another company that I don't think they exist anymore. They're called Your Colors. And I actually went to, um, I'm going to say maybe before I was pregnant with Oshin. Um, so five, six years ago. And it's only really now that I'm finding more balance in life and into op shopping that I'm really throwing all that knowledge together. Yes, the initial consultation is expensive. But when you use it to your advantage, like I know that those clothes there fit me. You have so less waste. You don't buy stuff that you know that's not going to suit you or fit you. That ends up in your wardrobe for a year or two and you go, why the fuck did I buy that? Let's get rid of it. Um, so it's an investment that will pay off again and again and again. And yeah, give yourself a budget or go one basket or one fill a bag or whatever. Like today I went in knowing I was going to be buying a lot. So I was okay with the size of that trolley. And I know that that shop is an absolute bargain. In comparison, the day that I did meet the stylist, I spent, I think, six or $700. I bought a whole wardrobe of clothes. It was probably about the same as that maybe a little bit more um but like all women's clothes i didn't buy any handbags i think i bought two pairs of shoes i bought belts a couple of scarves sunglasses and i spent 600 bucks so know where to shop know what your budget is know what you're buying and once you kind of have a capsule wardrobe you really whittle it down and you're not going to buy for the sake of buying because you know you have enough skinny jeans or you know you have enough denim t-shirts uh not denim t-shirts denim shorts it's um it's really unless it's amazing on you or you really like the brand and you can have it as backup um like for me i need more dresses that are smart casual um so that was and i wanted tops for uh summer so that was kind of my my main thing today, I got the shoes because they're nine west and they suit me and they're wedges and they're in my size and I have a big foot. So for me to get stuff in a charity shop in my size for shoes is awesome. And I've actually don't think I've ever bought handbags from a charity shop, but those two were in mine. And now that I am reintroducing myself to it, I want to have more than two handbags. I've got a black handbag and I've got an emerald green handbag, but I was open to the idea of getting some other options. And shout out to the Kiwi lady, the lovely Kiwi lady that handed me the Orton bag. That was really nice of her. There was actually another black one there, but it wasn't my style. And there was a really nice guest handbag. Again, it was a cream, not my style, but hopefully somebody else will get it that loves it. So yeah, that was my op shopping blog at one of Perth's best op shops in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you guys op shop? Anything that you look out for? Oh, and of course, look at the clothes, avoid stains, look for rips and damage because they get so much clothes. They don't have time to check them all. So really don't be surprised if you see something there that might have a light stain on it in a cough or somewhere that might get spot might not get spotted and sent for rags because the amount and I think that's what makes op shopping so good at the moment so it's that rock or a hard place like it's it's amazing for people that are into op shopping fast fashion but it's not sustainable fast fashion because 10 years ago, I guess, op shops, they were good, but it would be more rare to get a decent deal. So yeah, I'm going to shut up talking because <laughs> this video is already going to be 35 minutes long uh, by the time I edit it down. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go and wash all these when that wash is finished and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.